So Kenneth, um, please excuse the shorts. I know you're based in Nigeria and believe me, it is hot outside and hot in here too. Um, the question you've put to me here via direct messenger is quite a personal one. Essentially you say, well, in an environment where everyone around you is negative and critical, how do you as a creative um, stay positive and keep thriving? And I think that what you're going through here is a problem that can happen, not just as a creative, but also um, as someone who is involved in, in, in business or as a business owner. So I'm going to give you some of my top tips and thoughts. And I would really appreciate to those of you who are watching this video, because uh, it's not just Kenneth, I hope, um, please in your comments, um, leave your thoughts and suggestions. So for me, um, number one is, is I have to make sure that I go on regardless and you have to go on regardless. And of course, for me, I have that ultimate push of it's my job. I have to carry on. Um, but we can't allow a negativity to stop us. So what we have to do is we have to make sure that the voices on the outside and it might be social media. Um, it might be that if you're a comedian or actor, as you are, sometimes you might get direct feedback. Um, you have to put out negative thoughts. But the first thing is you have to work out, is it really negativity or is it actually a useful critique? The way to understand whether it's a good critique or not, um, sometimes is to work out, to listen to the positive as well as the negative. So if someone says to you, Kenneth, what you've done here is really great, but you could work on this, then the likelihood is, is that that is just a useful critique. Also, you do have the ability not to agree with um, critique that comes in. You know, we all have to be unique. We all have to be different. And it's that uniqueness that makes us essentially special, particularly when you work in the creative world. Um, sometimes what you're creating is not designed to be liked by everybody. So are the voices you're listening to the voices of the people that you are trying to attract? The other thing that I do um, that might be useful is when I start my day, I make sure that the first thoughts that come through my head are something that's positive. And I don't mean this in an airy fairy kind of fluffy way, um, but I make sure in the morning I almost say a mantra to myself. I do say, I am good at what I do. I'm going to do great work today and the work that I do is going to make a difference. And I know if I repeat that over and over again to myself, Essentially, that changes my whole disposition. It changes my outlook on that day. And it also changes what I focus on because I start focusing on the positivity and focusing on the positive of what I do. So is that something you can do? When you look at those who are playing in the World Cup right now, we know that in their personal lives around them, there may be lots of turmoil. There may be things off the pitch that would be massively distracting for them on the pitch. Maybe their past match wasn't great, but they have to, in their mind, go onto the pitch with that firm belief that what they're going to do is play great football. So I try and take that on board myself with what I do in, in business and as a creative. The other thing is, is that surround yourself with good people. Now, you might say, well, it's social media. Well, if it is social media, you can block people. If people are consistently negative, their likelihood is they are not friends that you'd want to socialize with. So the point of social media is it's meant to be social. So block them. Right. Um, you wouldn't hang around in real life with somebody that was constantly negative and constantly draining. So sometimes even your family members are not people that you want in your echo chamber or perhaps it's that friend that you have that's always been there and they are not the positive force that you need. Sometimes you have to swap out friends. You can do that with family. It's not something you can do, but perhaps you don't bring them into your inner circle when it comes to things that are related to creativity or your your career and your profession. And then finally, um, if you do find that you are generally in an environment whereby things are negative around you, right? Everyone seems to be negative or just a portion of people tend to be negative. Be positive and make positivity your brand. Make positivity your brand because then in that way you stand out as being different. And if you stand out as being different, you will attract people who are positive. And when you attract people who are positive, the people are around you in close proximity, they will be the voices that you listen to and the voices that you hear. And as a result, it will change your perspective on what you do. So those are just a few of my tips and my thoughts. I would love it, please, for those of you in your comments, 
please uh, feel free to uh, leave a comment. We really appreciate that. Uh, and I love the questions that have been coming through. Um, feel free if you want to direct message me, message me, uh, drop me a question online. I'll just give you my own honest personal thoughts based on experience um, or just my thoughts full stop, my take on things. Uh, you can also do that in the comments as well. But thank you very much for listening. Whatever you do today, stay creative, have fun and keep succeeding.